welcome to sew with marit thank you so much for joining me in this video please subscribe like share and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i upload a new video now in this video we're going to talk about your stitches the right stitches that you can use for a knit fabric that is stretchy fabric and the right sewing machine that you can also use stay tuned okay so i decided to share a little um, bit of tips when it comes to knit fabric okay when i say knit fabric i mean stretchy fabric that's a general name for stretchy fabric i call it um, light beads like rabbits um, polo material any kind of stretchy fabric is generally known as knit k-n-i-t knit fabric so there are different type of stitches that accompanies a knit fabric that's a stretchy fabric and that includes um, the stretch stitch the zigzag stitch the sega stitch the uh, interlocking stitch which and so on there are just about few about six or five of them the stretch stitch is not included you know why is because the, the way it produces the stitch does not accompany the way the fabric has been made the fabric has been made to stretch out the stretch stitch has been um, made to stay intact okay it accompanies a fabric which doesn't stretch so to get a better result it's always good you make use of sewing machines that can give you a stretch stitch so uh, example of a sewing machine that can give you stretch stitch is the zigzag sewing machine interlocking machine with the call the taping machine it gives you a double or triple line with beautiful chain stitches under uh, that's the kind of stitch you see at the edge of your um, polo or the, the hand. You can, I'm, I'm wearing a, like, this is an example of a knit fabric I'm putting on. And beneath, you can see the stretch, the the stitch rather, that is used. Don't know if you can see that, but let me come closer. This is a stretch, this is a, a taping machine, which we call taping machine around the world. It's generally known as a, interlocking machine okay now when you when you are able to apply this to your fabric the thread will not snap the thread will break when you wash or when you try to put it on or when you try to squeeze some um, water out of it when washing something like that I don't, I've experienced it um, I've used my straight, straight sewing machine to sew a stretchy fabric and at the end of the day when I'm washing all the time when I want to put it on you see the thread just, just keep breaking and when you do uh, when you make a clothes for a customer that gave you a, a neat fabric to make and at the end of the day the customer likes the style very very fine and tomorrow they are complaining because what I made for one lady and uh, I was so about like what is all this I need to have money and get even if it's an overlocking machine or she just said she went to the church and she just wanted to sit down Rah! oh god i felt pity for her she was not able to stand up to do anything to dance people were just asking are you okay are you okay you <laughs> know it was a clue that i stopped you know something like that to avoid such disappointment when you make clothes for your Clients, you need to just get even if it's just one of these machines that can give you a stretchy stitch And here I have the overlocking machine known as weaving machine. This is a taping machine also known as interlocking machine This is industrial zigzag machine and this is domestic zigzag machine Any of these machines can be used to make stretch stitch for your stretch fabric and gives you a very good result and here we have the different type of stitches just few types of stitches you can get from those machines and you can see the right side of the stitch and you can see the wrong side of the stitch for your fabric you can
can apply that um, stitch to your stretchy fabric to give you a nice outlook, to give you a nice finishing. Although there are still some tricks you can apply with your straight stitch, that is to pull the fabric when you sew. But that can be so tedious, okay? It's tiring when I do that. So these are the few tips I say we, I, I said I should just share with us because making stretchy fabrics they come out so nice when you sew with a lycra and you give a good style at the end of the day mm, threads are just breaking breaking it's not a good reputation for you if you are a very unknown or renowned tailor around your area so thank you for staying tuned and god bless you Bye. And now we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. Do have a lovely week and see you on the next video. Bye.